Are you kidding me? I love Finding Nemo for PS2. I don't understand how you can like live without playing it. Like Jesus Christ. There is no other ethereal transgression than playing Finding Nemo on the PS2. <laughs> Simply nothing can reach that sort of climax that it brings. Finding Nemo for the PS2 brings me the purest of joy and ecstasy. I fucking love Finding Nemo! I mean, it's Finding Nemo! You love Finding Nemo! Finding Nemo on the PS2 is the simplest Purest form of joy. Finding Nemo for the PS2 fucking sucks. Living in the city. It's like a roller coaster. Imagine for a moment, if you will, that I'm still a little boy and I'm staring at the game section in Video Easy. Yes, that's how they spelled the word easy. I think I've got an inkling as to why they went out of business. Essentially what Video Easy was, was a VHS, DVD, and video game rental store. I think you Americans had like Blockbuster or something. And while looking through the Spider-Mans, and the Digimon Rumble Arena 2s, and the Sly 3s, there was one game that caught my attention. The Incredibles for PS2. But we're not looking at that today. Today we're going to be looking at Finding Nemo for the PS2. Wow. It's in the title. I had the, uh, just the best taste in video games, just, oh. Finding Nemo was one of those movies where back in the day it'll be like, wow, that looks pretty good. The animation and design was in fact so good, the animation team was told to tone the hiddly heck down on the realism, guys, because people can't tell the difference. Whoa! Of course, nowadays animation has progressed and we even got Finding Dory, which in itself is even better than Finding Nemo in terms of animation quality. And, and that's pretty crazy and all, but we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Uh, we're looking at Finding Nemo, the PS2 game. And uh, what with the movie looking so good, I'm, I'm assuming that the game would have at least a visually appealing art style. So, how's a lucky fan? Oh no. Graphics aside, I, I remember renting this game out more than once. In fact, I think I 100% of the game. So, so clearly, there's got to be something here, some sort of uh, mechanic, some sort of gameplay style. So something that's really fun. No, nope. I was just a really dumb kid while replaying this game for the first time in in years and years, I've realized that this is one of the most repetitive, boring, unimaginative games that I've ever played. Every single mechanic in this game is a goddamn chore. They all flop stupendously. Get it? Flop? Because they're fish? Nevertheless, I'm not just gonna say that the game's bad and leave it at that. I gotta back up my argument with facts. You know, with opinions. Remember when Nintendo Life, all the way back to the Sonic Forces demo, he said the game was absolute crap? And he got so much hate for it. That wasn't because he said Sonic Forces was bad, because we now know that it is. God, it's just awful. But the reason why he got all that hate was because he didn't back up his opinion with any facts or any reasons as to why he felt that way. But not me. I'm going to go into great detail as to why this game is so horrendous. Finding Nemo on PS2 that is, not Sonic Forces. I went into an hour long video explaining in great detail as to why Sonic Forces sucks. So, right from the get go, I, I can't read this. How do they expect me to read this? I'm over exaggerating. Ah, now that's a bit of nostalgia right there. Does Pixar still have that intro? I haven't seen a movie in forever. Jesus Christ, this thing is a sound mix of death! Ah, finally, here we go. Let's get into it. Nope, that's just the Traveler's Tale logo. Wait, didn't they? Oh no! Wow, despite 100%ing this game, I don't even remember this title screen. Like, at all. Actually, for someone who's 100% of this game, I remember strangely little. And who the heck is this fish? Why does he get to be the menu cursor? You think it'd be like Nemo or someone, but no, he's good old generic the fish. Sounds like a Sonic character. Hey guys, I'm generic the fish. I suck. Kind of ironic how Marlon and Dory find some text saying finding Nemo while looking for Nemo. I mean, imagine if your kid got lost in the woods and you go to look for him only to find giant text saying, I don't know, finding Tim. Actually, that'd be really scary. No wonder why Marlon's eyes are bugging out of his skull. Whoa, what is that? Oh wait, it's Nemo. 
And right into the level select. No intro. All right. I, and the exact same music from the title screen. Very nice. Let's go. First level. Oh, shit. Watch me swim over to that coral. You know, I'm not a Finding Nemo expert here, but I am pretty sure that in the movie, Nemo's eyes weren't colored demon red. And thus begins the first style of gameplay. And it's 2.5D! Now, they don't actually let you use all of Nemo's moves at the beginning here. At the moment, we can only, as Marlon puts it, swim through all those rings of bubbles on the way. That's gonna be a recurring theme, by the way. Follow me, and remember, you can speed up by pressing the move button. Well, what is the move button then, Marlon? D did you not bother recording separate lines for different versions of the game, you lazy, fishy... Fish face. Whoa, I've been thrusted into a different gameplay style already. I, oh no, you, you swam through three rings and you know, onto the next gameplay segment. Here you can move in all directions, although it's an on rail segment, all of these 3D portions are. And again, you gotta swim through all the rings. Thanks, Marlin, but with this lack of focus, I'm surprised you haven't asked me to swim through somebody's intestinal tract yet. Oh my. Hi, I'm Chad. I'm obnoxious. Oh, that's right, we better cram all those quotes from the movie in here. I gotta remind people this is Finding Nemo, as if Nemo here wasn't a big enough clue! By the way, expect a lot more of those quotes. I mean, well, we've been here for two minutes, and the only original thing that's been said is Swim through all the rings! My name's Nemo, I'm going to school! My name's Nemo, and I'm going to school! That's how you sound, that's how you sound, Nemo. Oh, there's a big clam blocking our way. Looks like we'll have to go home. Are you kidding me, Marlin? You're a fish. Swim around it. Ah! Oh, you made me ink! Aw, oh, you made me turn off the PS2! I'm done! Hooray! You found her! That sounded really sarcastic. Hooray! No, alright, I'll put the stupid pearl and the stupid clam. Can't swim around the bloody thing. Did he just... Ooh, we swam around it! So it turns out that this game is a sort of collect-a-thon. Through each of the levels, you'll have certain requirements that you'll need to fulfill if you want to get to 100%. Like putting these colored pebbles in the right spots, winning a race. Why aren't I moving? Jumping on... Somebody's poo? But the most important thing you can do being... Swim for all the rings! When you do complete one of these tasks, you receive a gold star. Fish. Clever. You don't get anything extra if you get them all in one level, but if you get them all overall, you get the completion bonus. You hear on this, Gerard the Completionist? Finding Nemo on PS2, go wild. How are we stuck again? Swim around the rocks! Here, let me do it, Nemo. So after that monstrosity, we showed how to dart, I guess is what they called it. It's used to break through obstacles, hit enemies, capture in bubbles, and press switches, you know, that sort of thing. It's actually got some nice squash and stretch. Props to whoever did this animation. Each playable character that is Nemo, Marlin, and Dory each have their own voice clip for the dart too. Nemo has his little grunt. Marlin has his... And Dory has a... Calm down, Dory. Oh, you better stay with me. Dad? Before you go, Nemo, remember, anemones are our home. If you're ever in danger, press and hold the action button to hide in one. I will, Dad. And one more thing. These only appear twice in the entire game. And one's only for finding a big fat fish. I'm not kidding. Well, I guess I'll try it out. Yep, all right, I'm done here. Uh, Nemo? What are we doing? What is this? So this is one of Nemo's moves, apparently? Uh, you can enter in an enemy and then when you exit, he's invincible while spinning. I, I just find it so weird because it's only used once in the entire game, which is right here. The only other time there's an enemy, is, at least as far as I'm aware, is when you're playing hide and seek in the fish tank. And all you gotta do then is just hop in and hop out and there's a big old fat old fish. There he is, whoop de do I want you all to take a look at this, uh, this PS2 controller here. It's pretty nifty, huh? You know, it's got lots of buttons here. You know, so, so how many do you think they use for, you know, Nemo's swimming, his, his darting, his interacting, his picking up objects, that sort of stuff? How, how many th do you think they use? Two. And, and the X button's only for swimming. What? I don't understand why games do this. I mean, look at Final Fantasy XV, for example. Brilliant game, just absolutely fantastic game. One of my favorite games of all time. But for some reason, Square Enix thought it was a good idea to map the interact button and jump to the same place.
Hey, Cindy, how's it going? Whoops. Let's grab these herbs here. Whoop. How about a ride, guys? Or we could jump some more. Hey, kids. Ah! Hey, look at that. I got a golden starfish. I just want you all to look at Nemo's face here. What do you see? Triumph? Glee? Horrific pain and torment? And Jesus Christ, these flatfish are genuinely terrifying. How could they ever think that putting in that monstrosity was a good idea? Now here's a segment where the gimmick is that there's these caves in the rocks that lead to different areas. You gotta get through and it's all based on luck. There's no way to tell where a cave goes until you've gone through it. Sounds pretty annoying, right? Well, that's not even the worst of it. Let's say one day you want to go to the toilet. You enter the hallway, you open the toilet door, you close it, you do your business, and you step out the same door, and you're in the fish and chip shop. Oi mate, buy some chips with you. Well that's how these caves work. Except you don't even get fish and chips. Oh, you know you get fish, don't you? This is fucking Finding Nemo. <laughs> I like how Nemo's friends are just watching him swim through this dangerous gauntlet. Oh shit, he's dead! Look at me, I'm gonna go touch the butt. Come on, Nemo! How far can you go? Um, my dad says it's not safe. You know you can't swim well! Okay, first of all... And secondly... In the film, we see these two characters interact with one another for the first, I don't know, 10-15 minutes of the film. And, and, and you see Marlin's overprotectiveness, you see Nemo's stubbornness, mainly to do with the fact that his dad is overprotective, clearly because he's his only son, and also he's got that bum fin. So out of frustration, it eventually, you know, boils up and up and up and up until Nemo's frustration just, just makes him snap and he disobeys his father. But here it's just- You know you can't swim well! I will say, for all the things that this game does wrong, it does, however, at times, just absolutely nail the atmosphere. The anchor climbing segment here is a good example right here of that. Although it's made incredibly easy to 100% this bit, because if you're trying to swim through all the rings, if you die, it keeps all the progress that you've made so far. So Nemo touches the boat, of course, creating a weirdly loud thunking noise. But oh no! It's the diver! Ah! Yep, Nemo, you sure look scared. Mr. Has the Hurry! Oh yeah, remember that part of the movie? The bit where Nemo's friends tell him to swim through all the rings! Now we gotta chase the boat, I suppose. It's not really moving very fast. I've gotta get that mask! Wait, no, Marlin, the boat is going really slow. Just follow the boat! Oh shoot, I've only got 90 seconds. Let's get going! And I'm dead already. This is by far one of the worst levels in the entire game. The camera's too zoomed in, Marlin's too fast. It's, it's like Sonic on the Game Gear. You just can't see what's coming up ahead in time. And to make it so much worse, the current is shooting you down these paths at a million miles an hour! And did I mention that if you don't have any krill, you die in one hit? Or just get real dizzy? Look, this is me not touching the analog stick whatsoever. This current's crazy strong. Wait, you can go around the obstacles? The mask was right there! Why didn't you grab it? And he did it again! Why are you grabbing the mask? Can you help me? Wow, he really sounds like a desperate father looking for his only son. Can you help me? It's Marlin's time to shine. He'll show his strength, his determination, in order to swim for all the rings. I was gonna say save his son, but that works too, I guess. This is proving harder than I thought. I've got an idea, though. This is working. This is still working. Welcome to Radical Soda's Finding Nemo Tips and Tricks! Tip 1! What the fuck? And that's all for Radical Soda's Finding Nemo Tips and Tricks! Whew, we are a while into this video, aren't we? I mean, we're only on page 3 of my notes here. Of 13? We should probably speed this up. A boat? Hey, I've seen a boat! It went, um, this way! It went this way! Follow me! Okay, why is Dory suddenly Texan? You know, I I'm giving these guys a lot of crap, but all in all, they're not doing too bad of a job here. I mean, we have Nasally Nemo. Swim through all the rings! Marlin, Texan, Dory, but they're all doing their job fairly well. Hello? Name's Bruce. <laughs> My god. I don't know why, but for some reason, the only original voice actor not present in the movie cutscenes is Bruce. 
He sounds so out of place. And, and in some scenes, you can even hear where the original audio gets cut off so they can splice in the replacement actor's lines. I think they own everything. Probably American. Now there is a father. Well, at least this sequence is somewhat interesting. Even if all I have to do is swim for all the rings. Careful, my little tidbits. You don't want to be popping any of them balloons. <laughs> Did he just give up? It'd be bad for your health, mate, and mine. He gave up! That means I can give up too! Oh boy! Let's get out of here! Whee! Looks like fun! Let's bounce on them all! I'm not sure, Dory. No, she'll be alright. But any more than three times on each balloon, and we're all gonna regret it. But any more than three times on each balloon, and we're all gonna regret it. I'm having fish tonight! Yes, Bruce, they're very scary, very threatening. Now, here's another level with actually decent atmosphere, although I'm not sure how there's steam underwater. That doesn't really make sense. Oh, God! He ate Marlin! Wait, no? He... he didn't? Does, does that mean I win? No? I, I'm still doing it? What? Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! So Marlin and Dory get game over animations like uh, like like being blown away by a pufferfish or or getting dizzy or, or just coughing a bit. And when Bruce is supposed to eat them, they still win somehow. But Nemo can just straight up die. Hey, big guy, can't get us now. But I'll tell you what can get you, Dory. It's the fire that's underwater. What? Okay, forget the fire. There's something even more unbelievable here. Why is there a sliding block puzzle here? Because this is what kids want to play when they pick up a fresh copy of Finding Nemo for the PS2. Yeah, give me those block puzzles. When I was a kid, and I was a stupid kid, mind you, I had to ask my father to do these things for me. But not this time. I did it all by myself. But I wish I'd asked him again because these things are absolute ass. It took me roughly seven minutes to complete this crap. I don't even want to know how long it would have taken me as a child. And this is a running theme in this game. You're just wasting your time. In Nemo's next level, you got to find all of the fish, apart from Gil, who just magically appears in a cutscene later on as if you've known them all along. And all of the fish are, you know, relatively easy to find. Oh, piss off! But finding this guy involved more of that frustrating chance-based cave swimming mechanic. And for the life of me, I, I couldn't find Find the cleanest shrimp guy. Hit the coconuts! Why would I even think to hit the fucking coconuts? And in the next Marlin and Dory level, you have to press a certain kind of switch that only Marlin can press to open up a path for Dory, and then swim back to Dory, switch to her, swim through the new area to press another switch only Dory can press to open up a path for Marlin, swim back to Marlin, switch to Marlin, and so on and so forth until the length between these two is a goddamn mile long! God damn it! Why do I need to press these switches? Your fish just swim around the fucking things! And then, after all that, I hit a switch with Dory, come back to get Marlin, slowly make my way back to where Dory was, and there's another switch that only Dory can use. Kill me. Not to mention you're always hearing the most intense music the entire time, even when you're doing the stupid block puzzle. I know just the place to put this. Finally, we found the mask! You... don't forget me? Ah! That level took me 50! And the submarine was 20? What? Okay, see, now, now this level's got an interesting theme. You know, it's the chase with the anglerfish. The problem is, like with the dory chase, which I just kind of skimmed over, by the way, you have to do this three times, and it never changes up. With Dory, you just gotta swim for all the rings. Just like when you're following that pathetic excuse for Bruce. But now it's just dodging the anglerfish, which is essentially the same as the dodge Bruce mechanic, albeit a little bit easier. Oh my god. Mount Wanahokalugi. How did I not get that before? In all my years of rewatching Finding Nemo, I never got the joke. I don't even want to talk about the level itself though. I got stuck on this one part where there was a switch but nothing was happening when I darted into it so I was trying to figure out what to do, you know, like with the coconuts. I actually glitched through a bit of the level that's meant to be solid here. See, see doesn't that look like a secret or something? It's not. Turns out what I had to do was keep pressing the switch until the diver I couldn't see descended down and blocked the fiery stream of bubbles, which again, just swim around the Nemo! And then the level ends with them making you swim through all the rings. And it's done and it took 15 minutes six of those was me trying to figure out that stupid diver crap and then the other seven was spent on the sliding block puzzle i'm done
I'm out! Now here's a level which is actually pretty well done. It looks great, the mechanics aren't bad, Dory's here. Woo! Feeling good! I didn't even notice at first that 90% of these jellyfish are just PNGs. It's actually really well done. This was actually the level I had trouble on when I was a kid though. I, I knew you had to race Dory, that was obvious. But every time I jumped into a jellyfish I just kind of... Off of it. I realized the second time I rented the game out that I just needed to press, you know, I don't know, one of the two buttons when on a jellyfish to shoot off so that I could speed up. I had spent many a time just trying to swim through all the rings as they give you a minuscule speed boost, but damn was I one stupid kid. What the heck is with the music though? Isn't this meant to be a fun time they're having? I mean, why is all the music in this game so ominous? And they still haven't made any animations for Marlin other than the dizzy one. Other than the puffer fish, I guess. When I was a kid, I thought it was kissing Marlin. Is that weird? How's your bum fin, Shark B? It's my lucky fin. No, Nemo, you're disabled. Don't try to hide it. Tell you what, how about I give you some bum fin swimming tips? Try to keep up with me and do what I do. You know, that voice actor actually sounds mighty good for an imitation. Uh, who did the... Holy crap, it's actually Willem Dafoe. Okay, this is easy enough. What? How did that even... Try to keep up. I was touching you! Oh no. Oh no, 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 I gotta put it through all the rings! Why is this so difficult? Why, why, why? Bloat, why? The next level is the East Australian Current. Three words. Hot. Turtle. Ass. Oh hell! What the? Why are we back at the Mount Wanahaka Lugi ceremony? That was so many levels ago, this doesn't make any sense! And you know, that's not all that doesn't make sense. You know how in the movie Nemo had to squeeze into the water filter with all the pebbles and stuff and how he was the only one that could do it because he was the only one small enough to fit in the tube? Well, fuck that! Just shove some pebbles into this thing! Same diff, right? Oh, and not to mention that the pebbles are in the most frustrating, aggravating, stupid places ever known to mankind! This is all chance! It's just all chance! What's wrong with these pebbles, huh? Why do I gotta go out of my way to find the most obscure red pebbles that are rarer than the goddamn green nose Trigdal Bobber? It makes me so incredibly angry to even think about this level. It is the most boring and yet somehow aggravating level in a video game I have ever played. I hope whoever designed this level slips on a banana peel or something. Finally, I'm done. That took guts, kid. No, it didn't! Well, at least the whale level's up next. We're swimming away from it. Okay, that seems good enough. Oh. Oh. Why is my bouncing making his taste buds roar and bloody? Jesus Christ, Finding Nemo for the PS2? Jesus Christ, whales are not this long! How long do they think a whale is? I'm still going, what the heck? This whale's longer than the goddamn runway in Fast and Furious 6. We gotta be in like a human centipede but with whales or something, this is ridiculous. This isn't even the right cutscene. And now Nemo is swimming through the sewers. <laughs> you see these particles floating around? Human feces. Finding Nemo for the PlayStation 2. Swimming shit. Why is there blood in the suit? Who's flushing their blood down the toilet? Hey, don't answer that. You know, I, I was gonna give this one a pass with the whole swim around the obstacle thing, but are you in a pipe? Or aren't you, Nemo? You, you can't go bending the laws of physics at will, you know? And the last level, what do you think it's got in store for us? Uh, what, what could the climax of this game possibly have? I bet it's something crazy. I'm not even gonna pretend it's good. It's good. It's good like the rest of this game. You go around this net telling Dory to swim down and you watch out for the boats. Ooh, Nemo can die. I repeat, he can die! No one else in this game can die apart from Nemo! Marlin, why aren't you helping?! This game is one of the worst I've ever played in my life. It constantly slows you down. It makes you backtrack every five seconds. The 3D stuff boils down to essentially swim through all the rings! Thank you, Marlin! It's got one of the worst bruises I've ever heard, and it's got a fetish for sliding block puzzles! What the f- There is some interesting stuff here, though. You know, for one, they were originally planning to implement levels for Nigel, you know, the pelican who was oddly just absent from the game. Uh, I would assume he would handle somewhat similar to the 3D sections for the fish, but they had a whole model for him in the base files of the game. There's even some code there left to see how he would play, which is how I got to the base idea of the 3D fish segment. Another thing that I'm sure you're all just bigger to know is what's the 100% completion bonus? I talked about it before, I didn't even, didn't even mention it again. So what do you think it could be? Maybe, maybe a secret character? Or, or maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's a sound test, or maybe it could be a secret level where you play as Nemo, Marlin, 
and Dory. Whoa! It sucks. Even more so than the other levels because there's no goal or anything. It's just the level with Marlon and Dory where you gotta flip switches to go back and forth. But now it's with three characters. And instead of making your way to the goal, you just try to put some pebbles in the right place. So in other words, two of the worst levels in the game rolled into one. And don't even look at me because I am not going to unlock it myself. I unlocked it once as a kid and that's enough for me. I'll just steal someone else's footage or if I can't find any, I'll just, I don't know, I'll draw it or something. <laughs> Who cares? Anything to not play that mess of a game again. So how about we play another crappy game, huh? That sounds good. Or maybe a game that's not so crappy, who knows? Uh, if you take a look down below in the description, there'll be a straw poll. And uh, you, don't, you don't even have to log in or anything. Uh, you could just, it's as easy as clicking on what game you want to see next. So we've got uh, The Incredibles for PS2. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets for PS2. Friggin' Shark Tale for the PS2. Or Sonic Unleashed for the PS3. Just kidding, no Sonic Unleashed. But I'll do a video on a Sonic game after the next one comes out, alright? There's a ton of games I've recently realized I want to do Radical Soda episodes on. There's old ones from my childhood, like Scalar and Shrek 2. And then there's the games I'm just weirdly interested in, like Crash with Sanity or Sonic Rider Zero Gravity. I'll get around to that one, I will. And uh, I think the B movie even had a video game, so, you know. Anyhow, that's it for this video, I guess. Uh, the. the Poll is down in the description there, so you can check that out, or you can follow me on Twitter. It's another good place. You can see all some updates and stuff. And if you really like my stuff, if you just if you just want to spread the generosity, I have a Patreon, and it's literally keeping me alive right now. So if you want to help me out, you can go over there. You can donate however much you want. You can get all the poppy art and the thumbnails. They're all there in a, in a row. Lined up, you got your ducks in a row, whatever, whatever the hell the saying is. And uh, there's also 24 plus hour access to new videos for uh, the second tier. I've only got two tiers so far, but you know what? It's better, better than having no tiers, right? Boy, you gotta love it when these videos turn into advertisements near the end, don't you? Anyway, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to swim for all the rings!